Hello everyone, it is Saturday and I am so excited because it has been a long time since I've had a weekend in Toronto where I'm not leaving the city, I'm just here and enjoying kind of my apartment and just being here in Toronto. And so today I'm very excited because we are going shopping, we're going to the bay and we're gonna go browse the homeware section for some Christmas decor and a new Christmas tree. I think I mentioned in my last vlog that I need a Christmas tree and so I'm gonna go browse the bay because I think that they're having um, some sales on their Christmas trees right now so I'm gonna go check them out. We already did a few measurements so we kind of know like how so we so I kind of have a rough idea of like how big or how small I can go um, and so I also and I'm also stopping at um, Tiffany I'm finally finally getting my um, bracelet resized because it's far too big for my wrist like I can still wear it um, but you can clearly tell that it's a lot bigger than my other bracelets I'm also gonna stop at Burberry because I've been kind of a feeling like I want a really thick like scarf um, not a blanket scarf, just like a traditional scarf. But anyways, I wanted something very minimal, probably something black. Um, no plaid this time around. I feel like I have enough plaid from Burberry. Um, but Burberry does have great scarves, so I might stop in there and just browse to see what styles they have. I don't think I want, I'm just saying I think, because you never know until you try something on, but I don't think I want the ones with the actual lettering on them, the ones that say Burberry on them. Um, again, trying to keep it pretty minimal, but we'll see. And then tonight, I think we're also gonna go to the distillery district, which I'm so excited because they finally have their kind of Christmas decor up, and it's really just a bunch of twinkly lights, but let's be real. We all love twinkly lights. It looks so pretty. Um, and um, there's also a distillery there. Well, it's the distillery district, but the Spirit of York distillery is there, and they make vodka, gin, and I mean, myself being a gin lover, not so much a vodka lover, and so I I thought maybe it'd be nice to maybe get some uh, cocktails while we're there but um, yeah that's kind of the plan for today I'm really excited um, but yeah we're gonna head out right now we're just gonna head over to uh, Tiffany and Burberry and kind of be in that area for a second and yeah anyways um, I just want to mention that I am absolutely loving the straight hair I am typically a curly kind of voluminous hair gal but I am loving the way that this straight hair is looking I'm really really happy with it but anyways I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm wearing and then um, we can head out all right, so today's outfit, I want it to be very, very cozy, and so I'm wearing my Valentino boots, my Aritzia Daria leggings. I've had these for so, so long, and they are probably one of the best purchases I have ever made. Um, and then up top, I've just got my Burberry cardigan, and I think this cardigan has been one of my most worn items this season. Um, it's just so comfortable, and it goes with so, so much because there are so many different colors in it. And so this is my Lily Silk Cashmere Turtleneck. I've been loving pairing this underneath sweaters I just find that it keeps me super super warm but it also looks kind of really classy and put together so um, yeah that's kind of what I'm wearing and then over top I'm probably gonna put on my Michael Kors um, wool coat and then I'm sure you can guess but I'm gonna wear my Dior handbag <laughs> and then jewelry wise I kept it very simple I am still wearing my Missouri Spear studs I wear these probably like every single day and then I've got my dome ring on. And then I've also got a little stack going on here on my right hand. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. Super cozy um, and kind of ready to face the cold. But yeah. So anyways, let's head out so we can do some shopping and browsing. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. on our way to Saks Fifth and the Bay. We just finished up at Tiffany. Unfortunately, my bracelet's gonna be there till December 7th, which is like two weeks. Um, and Burberry, there was nothing at Burberry either. I was looking for just a simple black scarf and I didn't quite like any of the designs that they had, so I'll keep searching for 
a new scarf, but we've got about 40, mm, 30, 40 minute walk ahead of us. Um, but it's really nice, so it should be a nice walk. The kind of coffee. to dinner we're gonna go to fourth man on the fire so I'm very excited it's a pizzeria and I think they only sell pizza so I'm excited Sadly, it is now like super dark outside. So I have my ring light on in here That's probably why you can see all my shadowing, but it literally gets so dark so early now where it's like impossible to like do anything after like 420 after like four o'clock, which is really really sad but anyways um, Yesterday we had the most fun day. We went to the Eaton Center stopped by I stopped by William Sonoma and then I was kind of on the hunt for some new Christmas trees um, Because I've been really struggling to find a good Christmas tree I obviously don't want to spend an arm and a leg just because well I just don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a Christmas tree But I'm also obviously limited with space in this apartment So I think that's also been a little bit hard to find like the perfect tree so we ended up going to the bay. I also stopped at Saks Fifth. I unfortunately didn't find a tree that I loved, but the bay did have loads and loads and loads of trees online. So I might just have to go online and pick out a tree and just hope that it looks good. I kind of wanted to be able to kind of see it in person first, but I don't think that that's going to be the case. Um, and then from there, as you guys saw, we went to the fourth man in the fire, which is a piece of place that we actually um, walked by um, a while back and we kind of made a mental note and said, you know what, the next time we don't know where to go for dinner um, and we feel like pizza, let's go there. So we ended up going there and it was honestly such a great place. The pizza was phenomenal and the whole concept is really really cool um you actually didn't even order through a waitress or waiter you pretty much just um you kind of got your qr code so for your menu but you actually ordered everything through your phone so you pay on your phone you do everything through there and i think that's really cool it was nice um and at one point they kind of forgot our drinks like we had already gotten our appetizers and stuff and we still hadn't gotten our drinks and i was like i'm sorry like we we haven't gotten our drinks yet and they were so nice about it they ended up giving us um a free dessert we got a slice of a coconut cream pie and mm, 
delicious um, but they were super sweet they absolutely did not have to give us a free piece of pie for forgetting our drinks but um, they did and that was really sweet but anyways that was our evening yesterday and it was just so so lovely but right now I wanted to sit down and talk to you about some Missouri pieces because the Missouri Black Friday sale is starting today so you can go on their website today and you will be able to receive 20% off and I believe it's if you spend over $150 which is awesome so what I wanted to do was actually kind of I have my jewelry box here with me and I wanted to kind of sit down with you and kind of break down some of my favorite pieces and kind of the pieces that I would recommend and these would be kind of both for yourself or even loved ones I think a lot of these would make awesome Christmas gifts um, for loved ones so I kind of wanted to break it down because Missouri has so 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 many different things on their website and um, that I just thought it would be really really nice to kind of break it down for you and make the shopping experience just a little bit easier for you guys so anyways let's relocate so I can show you some of my Missouri pieces so I've got my jewelry box here and this is the place where I keep all of my jewelry it's kind of like my little haven I'm not gonna lie but before we get into it I do want to say that this is an integrated paid-for partnership with Missouri and as always I am so 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 proud and happy to be working with Missouri because they are just one of my absolute favorite favorite brands but as I mentioned Missouri's Black Friday sale has started today and you will be able to receive 20% off your order when you spend 150 or more and so I thought a great first purchase to talk about in this video is a jewelry box this is such an amazing purchase and I think it honestly would make such an amazing gift as well this is the large size which is the one that I have um, but they also make this in a smaller size and they also have little traveling cases as well if you are more of a traveler um, but the nice thing about this is that it actually comes with different trays which is really lovely um, so you can kind of see that every tray is slightly different and um, kind of serves a different purpose loads and loads of storage for necklaces earrings uh, rings pretty much anything but I really wanted to kind of start off with this because I think it's such an amazing gift and honestly a great storage solution um, for yourself I, I get so much use out of this every single day not to mention um, it looks beautiful on a counter it's so minimalistic um, and it's just beautiful so anyways that was kind of a purchase number one diamonds are one of the things that I just I wear the most and so the first thing that I wanted to start off with is the diamond necklace now but I'm actually wearing my two diamond necklaces and obviously I never take them off <laughs> I wear them pretty much 24 7 these are jewelry pieces that I live in um, they go with me wherever I go and they also go with everything that I'm wearing and I think that diamonds are such a classic timeless piece that they're gonna be in your wardrobe for years and years and years and even generations hopefully I think the diamond necklace does come in two sizes it comes in just the regular diamond and then the large diamond I actually have both as you just saw and I really like this because you can stack them together and you can also stack them with other minimal necklaces. Going along with diamonds, I want to share with you a beautiful um, new chain that I just got recently. But it's something that I've loved pairing with my diamond necklaces. And I thought this would be such a great piece for a lot of you because I know that so many of you have gotten the diamond necklace and this is a beautiful addition to go with it. But this is the baby box chain necklace and as you can see it is so so beyond dainty but it also has the matching bracelets which i do happen to have myself but the reason i wanted to mention this one is because i think it just pairs beautifully with so many different types of necklaces so that's the baby box chain and sticking with diamonds and other chains we have bracelets we have the diamond solo bracelet and the baby box chain so again I love a very cohesive look and so I have obviously the matching bracelets to my necklaces and so I have gone with two kind of matching sets but as you can see they look so so beautiful on the wrist and they're so dainty and beautiful that I just I fell in love with them immediately and the other thing I love about this is that again because they're so minimal they go with everything whether you're going to the gym or you're going to a party you are gonna be all set with these pieces really wanted to find something that was gonna have the essence of a stacked diamond necklace look which I would say is kind of the look that I'm always wearing I think it's one of the things you will most often see me wearing is 
kind of two stacked necklaces but I definitely understand that this is something that can be quite expensive as I was searching through the Missouri website I found this beautiful stacked opal necklace this is a layered opal necklace the reason I wanted to share this is because I think one of the things that I love about the diamond necklace is just how beautiful it looks I love the look of a little little tiny diamond and then another chain on top of that just to create this beautiful stacked look and the moment I saw this, I just knew that it gave off the exact same essence. And again, it's not necessarily about the diamonds. I just love very minimal stacked necklace look. And I think if you don't have the budget for diamonds, then I think this is a beautiful option. And if I have to be truthful, sometimes I will opt to wear this one because it's just one necklace. So you don't ever have to worry about your necklaces tangling. But that was just something that I wanted to mention because I think it's an awesome alternative to diamonds. Now we have the Charlotte collection. And this was actually one of the first collections that I actually got from Missouri. And ever since then, it's been one of my favorites. So let's start with earrings. Earrings, there are two options that I want to show you, and I think both of these are so, so beautiful in their own way. So we have a small Charlotte Bold hoop and a larger one, and again, both are beautiful. And the reason I wanted to mention both is because it just depends on what you love. I personally love both of these. I feel very, very sassy when I wear these, and I feel very, very powerful when I wear these. So they both give me a very, very different look and feel. But again, they have that kind of a classic Charlotte finish, which I love. To go with these, I always, always, always love having them paired with rings. And um, I'm actually gonna put them on for you so you can see what they look like on because um, they are one of the rings that I wear very, very often. So here we have the Charlotte rings. So this is the Charlotte bold ring. This was one of the first rings that I ever bought. Um, and then we have the Charlotte ring, which is, as you can see, a little bit more on the narrow side. Very, very beautiful. And one of the things I love about the thinner version is that you are actually able to stack it with different rings. So for example, this is an older ring that I have from Missouri. This is a ceramic ring with diamonds. And I just love kind of being able to stack the thinner Charlotte ring with something else. You could also do a very simple look with just a simple band. But again, the possibilities are endless and it's one of the reasons why I love the Charlotte collection so, so much. Now my next favorite collection, which is the Dome collection. So the Dome collection is again, one of my other favorite collections. And as I mentioned, they are very, very minimal. So here we have the large dome ring and then these are the thinner versions of them. So I have the original color and I also have the diamond kind of studded one, which is one of my most complimented rings. I think it catches people's eyes, it glimmers in the light um, and it's just such a beautiful ring. Another thing I love about the thin version of the dome ring is that it's also very stackable. So as you can tell, I'm wearing it with another dome ring and it just it's so easy to just wear every single day and I'm not gonna lie it's one of my favorite rings because it just makes me feel so beautiful one of the other items that I actually love to pair with my dome collection is my sphere studs and again if you follow me you will have seen these before but these are the sphere stud earrings one of the simplest earrings you can have and I think these are a great gift um, because they're so simple in fact I gifted these to my mom in the silver color because she wears a lot of silver um, I just think they are such a great gift option because they're so minimal and again it's something that you just can't go wrong with the last thing that I'm gonna mention and I think so many of you will recognize these but these are still one of my absolute favorite Missouri pieces so these are the pearl drop earrings and if you've been around for a while you will without a doubt recognize these earrings but these are one of my absolute absolute favorite 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 earrings because they just look so beautiful they are some of the most kind of daintiest pieces that I own and I just love how they look again they go with so so much and so those hold a very dear spot in my heart but um, they are still one of my most highly recommended pieces and I know that so 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 many of you have actually picked up the earrings and have loved them just as much as I have. So yeah. But anyways, that is in a nutshell what I would recommend for Missouri's Black Friday sale. I think there are so many wonderful pieces in here. Um, and I just think that I love so, so many of these pieces and I hope that all of you do. And if you do buy something, let me know because I would love to know what pieces you guys picked up. I also love 
when so many of you when you guys message me on instagram and share photos with me of the pieces that you pick up it makes me so happy because it's like being able to share a new purchase with your bff it's so much fun but with that being said i will link all of the items that i mentioned in this video in the description box below i will also leave a link to my landing page which has all of my available missouri pieces in there for you i am now gonna go pack up and i am going to cook dinner because i'm very hungry it is now past five o'clock and i just kind of want to start having a very filled out evening so yeah good evening everyone i am just in the process of getting ready for bed i took a nice warm shower which felt really really nice as it was quite cold out today i have a lot of exciting things coming up i feel like this week leading up into december is probably one of the busiest weeks for me i have like everything going down but um essentially i found a christmas tree which makes me really, really, really happy. I did end up finding it at the bay. I actually found it online. Unfortunately, the like going to the actual physical store, they only had about a quarter of what they had available online. And so truthfully, shopping in store just was kind of useless. And I'm not gonna lie, I have been finding this more and more recently. And, and let me know how you guys feel about this because I'm kind of curious, but I have had a little bit of falling out with shopping in store recently um, I have had some not so wonderful experiences it's not necessarily that the staff was bad I just didn't find it useful every time I find myself going into store nothing is available and store associates end up telling me that they'll order it for me online and send it to my house which in that case I could have saved myself a trip to the store or the mall and just stayed home and ordered it and done something else with my time. So I've just felt like I've been having a lot of those moments recently where every time I go into a store, they don't have something. Um, and I don't know, it's just not, I just haven't been having the greatest of, I guess, experiences shopping in store. So I've been much preferring shopping online. And I think this Christmas tree fiasco is kind of like the last straw for me um but essentially i had to order the tree online i'm hoping that it looks really really pretty um the reviews on it were all really really good so i don't think it's gonna be like a terrible and ugly tree um i'm hoping that it arrives before saturday i did do express shipping on it um, and it said it's supposed to arrive on or before Saturday. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it arrives by Friday. That way Friday evening, I can, you know, have a really, really Christmassy evening and um, I can share all that with you. I will definitely be vlogging. And um, yeah, that's kind of the plan for this weekend. I think that'll be really, really nice to kind of hopefully have the tree up before December 1st. Um, and I've also just kind of been picking up some last minute um, Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. I do have some of my decor from last year, which I'll still be kind of putting up, but um, I'm really excited for my tree, like so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be super great. Um, so yeah, that's probably gonna be next vlog, which I'm really, really excited for. Um, yeah. I also, tomorrow, I have the most exciting event, which unfortunately I can't tell you about, um, but um, I will be vlogging it and hopefully taking some good photos there. That way I can show you after the event, but, but I'm very, very excited and, and I'm excited to tell you all about it once I'm allowed to. <laughs> um, yeah, and so that's kind of it. I just kind of wanted to have a little of a chat before bed. I'm going to head straight into bed after this. I'm gonna go make myself a peppermint tea and I'm going to lay in bed and have a super, super early night. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I honestly was super, super excited to share all of my Missouri items. And I get, I've been really, really frustrated with myself for the past couple of months because I just haven't been able to put out the content that I want because it's just me. Um, it's a one woman show and unfortunately I only have so many hours in a day and you know I'm only capable of doing so many things so, so I'm really really hoping that in the new year we can make a few changes and I can hopefully have a little bit of help 
um, on my side that way I can put out more content um, and just kind of focus on filming filming is what I love and so if I don't if I'm stuck doing other things kind of more admin jobs then I can't film and I can't create content for you guys so I'm just kind of hoping that in the new year I would be able to focus more on content um, that way I can just put out a ton of content both on YouTube and Instagram um, because that's what I would ideally love to be doing um, so anyways I am going to head into bed now I really really hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what you guys are shopping from the Missouri sale but anyways I am going to head to bed now but anyways I'm gonna head to bed now and I will see you guys in my next video bye